either. This has been a pre-recorded message. Message repeats in three seconds. She's a side nigga.
Took care of those ghouls that were giving you trouble. You did? That's great news. Fella, you and the Minutemen have our gratitude. And our support. Hello. How are you doing today? What do you need? <laughs> I'm happy to help folks that help each other, like you. Target spotted. You can't beat Team Human, Muty.
What's good today? What's good today? I cleared that place out for you. Should be safe for your friends to move in now. Oh, nice to have some good news around here for a change. What's good today? Hey there. I can see it in your eyes. You have something for me. The seeds, yes? Tell me you've managed to get them. Here you go. Here they are indeed. Such a terrible small thing. But locked inside is the power to change the world. Now we just have to get these to the earth and coax out what lies within. I'd say thank you, but I don't think that says how much you did here. Here you are healing the world. <laughs> I think I'll say thank you by sowing these and bringing you the yield. Thank you. Now I'll take those off your hands and we can get started growing more and better food for your people. A terrible good end to the tale, I think. What are you doing today?
Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Hey. Ah, hello, child. You seem troubled. Are you here for advice? Or perhaps a confession? I am always open to listen, and I promise no other soul shall hear what you tell me in confidence. I need to ask you something. Of course, I am, as always, a humble servant to the people. Please, tell me, what troubles you? I have something for you. Oh, you were looking for someone. Tell me of them. Perhaps I can offer some guidance in this. Ah, I see. I'm afraid I can't help you. You're after the wrong person. I need your help. <sighs> Very well, then. Perhaps it is for the best. Caleb sent you after Bombface about his wife. But Caleb is the true danger here. Caleb's wife, Madison, came to me fearing for her life. I'm sure by now you at least have some idea of what Caleb is doing. I will not pass judgment on the man. His work is good, if a bit extreme. She feared that one day he may turn on her and sought my aid. I hid her away, hoping that perhaps time would present an opportunity. Fearing her husband's eye, I opted to hide her away where Caleb would not look for her. Clearly, that didn't work. This doesn't make any sense. Why would you do this? I did it for Caleb's sake, as well as his wife's. She feared what he was doing, and his actions were going to lead to consequences that both would have to pay. I respect what he's doing, but it's idiotic of him to endanger his wife so recklessly. Where is she? She's hidden away. And I think given what I've just revealed to you, you'll understand why that's for the best. Why don't we let our two problems sort each other out? I'll mark Bombface's location for you. Go tell Caleb where he is, and let him continue to believe Maddie is deceased. Whatever you do, leave my name out of the conversation. For my own sake, as well as Madison. It would be a shame if one of Caleb's enemies were to learn of her location. I think we need more gangsters nailed up. Back. Okay. What did you find out? Maybe I found out something. Amazing. You managed to get it out of him. Bravo. It would be impolite of me to ask how you extracted the location out of the poor fellow. Give me a couple of hours to prepare and then come back. And we will go and put an end to Bombface. If you're looking for Jacob, I think he's up the old church across the road. You look like you're keeping busy. I didn't know running settlements could be so much work. There's just so much to keep track of. It's no wonder you and Jacob needed that hub thing. I hope you find it again soon. Thank you. You're welcome.
done on getting Jake back. This will make for a truly epic story. Hey. Oh, great, you're back. How did you go with the interviews? Finally got them all. Here. Well, it can't be easy. Here's payment for your trouble. Thanks to your reporting, I now have enough for the first edition. Come back at the end of the day and I should have it printed. This is going to be big. Hey, Slick. Tell me, you ever used to come to places like this? You know, before you were frozen? Yeah, plenty of times. Hmm. I can understand why. It's kind of nice. Almost peaceful. Although, it does feel kind of weird standing here. Almost as if the building itself is... Passing judgment on me or something. You're starting to worry me. <laughs> it's all right. Just doing a little introspection is all. Say, you recall way back when you came to my hardware store? Asking what else ASAMs could do? I asked you a question in return. I asked why you were doing all this. Hey, Sam, settlements, the whole thing. Do you remember what you told me? Help people. That's right. I didn't know if you really meant that. And honestly, I didn't care. All I saw before me was someone useful. Someone who could help me towards my goals. Someone I could use. If you have something to say, I'm listening. Despite what some might think, I'm no good at two-shoes. Oh, sure, I'll go on and on about rebuilding the Commonwealth, bringing back civilization, but those are just means to an end. All of this, everything I've done, it's all been in the effort to bring my daughter back to me. That's all I really cared about. But then, I met you. And suddenly, my actions were making a real difference in people's lives. Good and bad. And now with everything that's going on, the gunner attacks, losing the comm hub, I'm not so sure anymore. I never realized you'd lost hope like that. I don't think I'm quite at that stage just yet, but I may be close. Look, I'm trying, Slick. I really am. But this is more than I signed up for. I never expected to be taking on someone like the Gunners. I don't know if I have it in me to do this. I'm no savior of the Commonwealth. I'm not you. You think I'm a hero? I'm far from it. Heroics are in the eye of the beholder, my friend. Trust me, there's plenty of people who see you that way. I'm sorry. You didn't come all the way here just to hear me, bellyache. <laughs> What's up? You need my help with something? Listen. Uh, huh, that's, that's a lot of interference. I wonder what's causing it. If you need me to clean up that signal, I reckon I can get it done. Follow me. These 
gunners are devils and fools. The Lord will strike them down. Mark my words. Hey there. Okay, short stuff. I can take over again now. Thanks for watching the radio. Hey, I'm not that short. And are you sure? I can keep going for a few more hours. Nah, it's all right. I got something I need to do anyway. So, shift that pint-sized keister of yours. Okay, if you say so. But if you keep it up with all this short stuff, I'll find a footstool so I can bop you on the nose. All right, let's find that radio signal. Gonna try switching the receiver from amplitude to frequency. Signal might be weaker, but should have less interference. All right, think we got something. It's me, Aiden. I got news. Believe it or not, Algernon came through for us. We've been shadowing a squad of gunners. We think they may know where the comm hub is. But this gunner squad, they've been acting kind of odd, on edge. Like they're getting ready for something. Come meet us at Chestnut Hillock Reservoir. Don't be long. This has been a pre-recorded message. Message repeats in three seconds. Well, how about that? I knew we could trust Algernon. But maybe Aiden really is on our side as well. <laughs> you should have more faith in him. I don't know. There's just something about him. Doesn't sit right with me. But it does sound like he's onto something with the hub. Maybe you should go check in with him. See what he's found. Just don't get your hopes up, all right? For all we know, his lead might be a dud. Or he's just messing with us. You can never tell with a guy like him. What do you need? You interrogate a rope. All right. I think I'm ready. Want to go and finish what we started? All right. I'm in. All right, let's go. We'll recon the place and make a determination on the best way to proceed. There. 
either.
by the looks of it. A frontal assault is our only option. Are you ready? Hey. Well, by the looks of it, a frontal assault is our only option. Are you ready? You know what? Just kill him. <laughs> It'll probably come to that, no doubt. Here we go! <clears throat> oh, that feels good. Feels right. Like the angels can sing again. Victory has a sweet, sweet smell, my friend. Well, thanks, my friend. One less piece of gangster trash in the Commonwealth, and we can all live a bit easier now. I'm gonna have a sniff round and see if there's any intel left. See you back at Concord. today I'm here buckle up we've got radiation The squad we were following, they were stragglers from a strike team. They're trying to take this vault. The leader already made it inside. He's the one we think has the comm hub intel. We'll make sure no more gunners get past. You get in there and get that intel.
Hold your fire! They're friendly. Please, you must help us. The vault is being besieged by Wasteland mercenaries. Don't worry, I can help. Tell me what happened. We tried to stop them, but there were just too many. I don't know how they did it, but they forced the vault door open. Before our security forces could even react, five whole groups made it down to the lower levels. I need to get down there, but I can't take any of the vault's security. They're all needed here to defend the entrance. Could you... could you come with me, please? I... I can't do this alone. Of course I'll help you. Oh, thank you, thank you. Uh, follow me. I'll open the elevator for you. Whoever cleaned this place, I am so high. You need anything? How are you doing today? What do you need? You need anything? Just ask me. I'm here. I'm happy to help folks that help each other, like you. Hi there. Hello. Up there, look! In the Overseer's office. We have to save her. Possible breach of vault security detected. All vault residents... You're back. What? Oh shit, you gotta be kidding me. What are you doing here? Haven't you killed enough gunners already? You know who I am, so tell me, what are you doing here? I'm just doing my job, like any other gunner. Look, before you get all trigger happy, the only people we killed here were those who shot us first. We're just following orders from Captain Wes, okay? What you've done here is inexcusable, and you will answer for it. Okay, sure, I get that. But maybe we could come to some sort of arrangement or something. An arrangement with a gunner? What could possibly go wrong? Entrance is secure. Vault security can take it from here. Oh, God. You're Aiden McTavish, aren't you? You're here as well? And Captain Algernon, too? What? Shut up. I'll make this real simple. Recently, the gunners stole a ComHop computer. If you want to leave this place alive, you're gonna tell us everything you know about it. What? Look, I don't know nothing about that. We just met the secure the vault, that's it? No one said anything about a hub computer.
Anything else I should know? If there was anything else I'd tell you, believe me. I don't want to mess with the likes of you. I ain't got no death wish. Oh, but wait, there was something. We did have a prior mission, but it had to be scrubbed. We were meant to meet with Commander Berman. Commander? Sounds like somebody was promoted. If men like Berman are now leading squads, the gunners may be further gone than I thought. He needed help moving something, sir. Something big. But my squad got delayed before we could meet up. The attack on this vault couldn't wait. Something big, huh? How much you want to bet that's the com hub? This Berman. You got a way to contact him? Uh, yeah. This radio. I was meant to call him when we were done here. Hand it over. On the desk. Now. Sure. Take it. It's yours. So, me and my men. We can go now, right? Where will you go? I don't know. I guess we'd be deserters. We'd have to lay low. We'll risk enforcement squad coming after us. Get out of here. And don't come back. We will. You won't see me or my troops again. I don't know what the fuck Wes's plans are, but we want no more part of them. Let's try this radio. See if we can't gather some more intel. Try turning it on. Sergeant, our time is here this radio in. What the hell kept you? I had to move everything myself. Whatever. You finished at that vault now? You got any spare men left? Bring them with you. Could use the extra cannon for Lost a few of mine attacking the settlement. Ungrateful piss ants actually fought back. You believe that? Who are you talking about? What the fuck? Wait, who, who is that? What are you doing with a gun radio? That's Berman, the one who took your comm hub to Wes. You do the talking, I'll be the intimidating presence. Hey, clear out your ears and listen good. The comm hub. You took it, we want it back. So where is it? This is your only chance to get on our good side. So tell us what we want to know, now. <laughs> oh, what? You sick your minute men buddies on me? <laughs> That's right. I know who you are. You might be one who slipped with a little shit, but I know you got no one watching your man. Try to threaten me all you want. Ain't a damn thing you can do. Hey, that voice I heard before. That was that vault full of chuff, right? The, um, whole survivor, whatever. I put him back on the radio. I want to talk to him. All right, talk. Yeah, you're the problem with the guy I had, right? Building settlements and stuff? <laughs> I got a bank. There's just so many new towns and outposts. All make good vassals for the gunners. <laughs> Might take a while to capture them all, but you know, with your hub computer hooked into our cars, it's only a matter of time. Oh. Don't even think about trying to get it back. Place I just moved into ain't nowhere we got that's more secure. You need an all militia to even set foot inside. <laughs> I'll make this easy for you. Surrender now, or we kill you. <laughs> you and what are you? talk real big, but I know you ain't so tough. 
The little settlements, they ain't so tough either. In fact, I just came from one of them. Even took for me a little souvenir. Some old guy now laughed at me. Said I couldn't shoot straight. So I think of it. He must be volunteering his body for a little target practice. <laughs> and maybe you know it. Hey, take that old poop's gag off. Let him talk. Let him go. Who's gonna take my time on this guy? You know, teach him a lesson. Ah, uh, but whatever. Hey, you! Hey! Look at me when I'm talking to you. Quit your hollering. Stop waving that gun around. With a name as bad as yours, you probably end up shooting your own foot. Shut up! You're gonna serve as an example. Show what happens when someone stands against the gunners. Any last words? Oh, I got plenty of words. But most have too many syllables for the last you to understand. How about witless troglodyte? Or ham-fisted reprobate? Here's one you might comprehend. Lousy shot! God damn it, you mercenary motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong? Where's all that bravado man, huh? Let that be a warning. The end, anyone who messes with us winds up in the ground. <laughs> we can be bothered to bury things. I'm done talking. Still got a lot of work for you. You keep out of our way. Damn that Berman. He's the embodiment of everything wrong with the Gunners. That guy he shot. Someone you knew? He was my friend. I... know what it's like to lose someone. I'm sorry. In spite of what happened, that radio call may have been just what we needed. Unwittingly, Berman let slip exactly where he's moved your comm hub to. He always was a loudmouth. Yeah, I heard it as well. I know where we got that's more secure. That describes only one gunner-controlled location I know of. Exactly. Only place he could have been talking about. The Gunner's Plaza. Our main base of operations. Let's go. Just point me in the right direction. Hold on. It's not that simple. That gunner, Berman, he wasn't lying about needing an armed militia to get inside the gunner's plaza. Aiden's right. The plaza's one of the most secure places in the Commonwealth. Automated turrets, minefields, even a vertibird fixed up with missiles. If you want to get your comm hub back, we're going to need a plan. I've got an idea. Oh yeah? Care to share it with the rest of the class? I say we attack. Come up with that yourself, did you? Well, it's not a terrible idea. We could pull it off, providing we do a little setup first. We'd need the right people, and more intel than we have right now. Before committing to anything, you should run this by Jake. I'm sure he'll have an opinion to share. In the meantime, I'll start preparations for an assault. Works for me. Good luck. We know where your hub is. Now it's just a matter of taking it back. <laughs>